Hi friends, how are you? Uh, this is Nikhil again. Today in this video, I would like to show you the construction of a universal motor. Universal motor is nothing but a small sized DC series motor. It's construction physically and a small repair I'm going to perform in it. One of my universal motors in my home got a problem, it is not working and I'm going to repair it and you're going to see it. So yeah, this is the universal motor which I'm going to show you now and repair it. Okay, I'll open it. The outermost covering, I'm opening it. Now you can see the construction here. This is the rotor and this is the stator. As we know, the stator of a DC machine has poles. But actually here you don't have any physical poles. But rather you have electromagnetic poles. And this is the core and this is the winding. As you can see, the core is laminated. And the material used is steel. Now let us see the rotor and he see here these are the field terminals this one and this one both are the field terminals one 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 is the north pole one is the south pole and field all the field winding is in series now you see here the rotor this is the armature core and it is laminated made up of steel and armature winding made up of copper and armature winding is connected to the commutator the main uh, heart of a dc machine is a commutator that is the reason why it is called as a DC machine, otherwise it is also AC machine. You can see the commutator, the segments also you can see. And the segments, commutator segments are connected to the armature winding by means of a copper lugs. You can see the copper lugs here, clearly. This is a mist, uh, mistake thing. And the shaft over here. Okay. Now, it is a DC series motor because the field winding as well as the armature winding are connected in series. Now, how the series connection is possible over here, let us see. Okay. Now, consider... These are the two supply terminals. This is the two supply terminals. Let us take one as a plus. Let us take one to be plus. And now you see the plus one has uh, went inside. It, it has wound for the south north pole and it has came out. And this circuit now has to be closed through a armature, through, through armature. Actually the position will be like this. You are placing the armature inside, rotor. Okay, it is placed now. Now, this circuit should close like this. Like this. And like this. Actually, the circuit should be like this. Okay. Means, now the supply I have given through plus. The plus went inside north pole. It has one for the north pole. It came out. And here, actually, there should be brush. I will show you. And through brush, now the circuit went inside the rotor. In the rotor, then the circuit will close. It comes out like this through this brush again it goes into the north pole winding and it completes the north pole winding and it comes out like a negative terminal. Now I am going to show you the brush assembly for this kind of universal motors. See this is the brush assembly and usually it will be fixed like this. It should be fixed like this. So you can uh, see it uh, in this manner. As you can see, brushes are not in straight manner, they are cross because you have studied armature reaction. Due to the armature reaction, there is shift in the GNA, uh, there is shift in MNA, magnetic neutral axis, brush axis. Hence, this is designed according to the shift in the MNA. Now, what was the problem associated with this one, uh, this motor actually? So, these are the terminals to which uh, actually the field windings are connected to the armature. This is the joint of field and armature. They should be soldered over here and brushes. These are the brush holders. You can see these are the brush holders. So this through this we are placing our carbon brushes and these are the brush holders. And those brushes rest on the rotating commutator and they transfer collect uh, they send the current into the machine through the commutator. Now actually the problem with this motor was the one of the field terminals here was broken. Hence I opened it, I have opened the both uh, terminals and I am going to re-solder it. That is, uh, that is the repair we are going to do now. Yeah, now we will start the soldering work for this one. Now you see I have a solder iron. It is uh, getting heated. Now we will make a joint to this winding. Field winding to the armature terminals at this joint. Yeah, now one side of the winding has been connected. 
now let us see the other side this is the other side and this is the one we are going to solder now see here it is uh, approximately completed Okay, now we are going to almost approximately complete. We are going to complete it. Oh. Yeah, we have completed. Okay, now we have completed the soldering of the two terminals. See here, this is okay, and this is also okay. And uh, we are going to fix back everything, and the motor is ready to run. Thanks for watching this video. For any doubts, please drop the comments. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video.